Assalamu alaikum. This video is a demonstration of the basics of installing and configuring a Squid Proxy server on a Linux operating system. My name is Umar Jamil Ahmed and my groupmates are Osama Abdullah, Mahajamal and Abdul Rahman. Uh, a proxy server is basically an intermediary server which channels traffic between a client and another server. It has various features such as filtering, caching, DNS proxy, etc. and can be used for various purposes such as surfing the web anonymously or uh, something else. Alright, now we'll start the terminal and start by installing squid using the command sudo apt get install squid and as you can see we had already installed the squid so we can move on and check the status of the server whether it's running or not by using the command sudo service squid status as you can see it it is stopped uh, so in order to start it we just replace the status with the start and similarly we can stop it with by replacing start with stop all right now in order to configure the server we'll need to locate the configuration file which is placed in the directory squid under the etc directory all right let's check the contents of this folder now as you can see there are two files basically here one is a configuration file and other is a backup file which we which we made in case we made changes to the, to the original file all right now let's try to open this using the command sudo gedit and squid.conf alright this is a default uh, configuration file it consists of various lines the lines which follow a hashtag are comments while the others are uh, active configuration lines alright now we'll try to access the web through this proxy server using mozilla firefox Alright, now let's change the proxy settings of this browser. Alright, here we need to replace the proxy with the proxy of the server which is running on our machine, which is 10.0.2.15, which can be seen by typing the command if config on the terminal. And the port used by the default port used by this SQL server is 3128. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay. Let's Try to. All right. As you can see, access has been denied. So this means that uh, our proxy server is well and running. Now let's try a little tweak at the start. Let's try to replace the host name of this server. We'll open the config file again, and we'll try to change the visible host name of this server. All right, all right, somewhere around here. Okay, let's uh, now copy this host name, remove the hashtag, and yeah, all right, okay. Let's just type it again. It's not working. All right. It has to. Now just uh, just for fun, let's rename it the buyer server. All right. Okay. Let's run it now. The right proxy. All right. Now let's just save this thing and uh, restart the server again. We need to restart the server in order for changes to take effect. So let's just first stop the server and. Let's start it again. All right, good. Now let's again. All right, try to refresh the page, and you can see that it's showing the by proxy server as the default name. Now, uh, there could be a couple of reasons uh, uh, the server is denying access to us. So let's try to figure out some of them. Let's open the config file again. Okay. Now, since we are uh, accessing this. Uh, the web through another proxy server which is the sixth proxy server so we will need to define the proxy of this server too uh, in the configuration file which is 10.1.11.11 uh, .11. so basically this is the parent proxy through which we are accessing the web so here 
we need to yeah write ten dot and our proxy port is 8080 and make other changes like this and maybe write no to here and don't ever forget to remove the hashtag all right another thing which could be uh, wrong is this the proxy server is not letting us access the web as a local host so we will need to change that somewhere around yeah okay all right as you can see this uh, line has been commented out so we we'll remove the hashtag save the thing and as usual we'll try to restart the server again start and start all right now let's uh, try to access the web again and we'll see that it will allow us to access the web there all well and good now uh, it proxy server basically offers us many features we can block certain IPs we can uh, make many changes block certain websites etc so let's try to uh, make a little change we'll try to block some sites and using access control list access control list is a list of uh, basically uh, any IPs or servers or domains which we would like to restrict or allow access to so alright now we'll type in maybe we'll try to block maybe google.com and seeks.s.edu or edu.pk alright uh, and in order to restrict access to them, we'll just deny them any service. Alright, now let's save this work and restart the server. Waiting, waiting, and alright, now let's start. Start it again. Alright, now let's go and first of all we'll try to access www.google.com and let's see if it blocks us or not. As you can see, it has successfully denied us any service. And maybe let's just see another website like nest.pk. Again, it has, but if we access any other website, for example Yahoo, it will, you'll we'll see, allow us access there. So basically, uh, it has many uh, uses. Proxy server can be tweaked and uh, anything can be done. Alright, it's like, taking longer than usual. I think the way you are. Another thing about uh, proxy server is that there are many graphical user interfaces available to us, uh, which we can use, which makes uh, uh, make it much more easy for us. All right, uh, let's see what's wrong. Mm. Alright, this is the domain of google.com, so it's uh, denying a service again. Let's uh, try maybe msn.com or facebook.com. Alright, these servers, alright, there we go. Okay, now uh, another thing is the graphical user interface. We'll see in system tools. Uh, this is the Catmint Squid graphical user interface. It, it, makes us, it, it makes it much easier for us to uh, configure the server or make changes etc so I hope this presentation was uh, helpful, helpful. Uh, thank you very much that's it